Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're having a great day and doing well. I've just been getting a ton of work done this morning. It's the afternoon now and you can probably tell I'm heading off to Disney, so let's head on over together. So heading to California Adventure. Little quick outfit of the day wearing my mini dress and my rose gold ears again. Necklace, Pandora, and then actually quite a fun bracelet stack today too. I got some Alex and Ani there in Pandora. And let's head inside. My first stop was heading over to where the giant Disney 100 medallion was. I really wanted to take some photos there and also use my magic band to light it up. If you have a magic band and you do a circular motion, it'll light up the medallions. It's so cool. It's hard to see it lighting up during the daytime, but it's such a fun experience. And then here's another quick look at my outfit of the day. I got some photos taken at the medallion and then by the Walt and Mickey statue. It's so cute. Looked at the beautiful fountain, the lovely spring trees. It was a cooler day today, but it was so nice. After passing by the fountain, I spotted Mickey Mouse. So of course I had to get in line. I had to go say hello to him. This was my first time seeing Mickey Mouse on this trip. So I was very excited to meet him. He spotted the Minnie Mouses on my dress as well as my mini ears and was super sweet. Also saw Spider-Man, which was cool. It was heading into Marvel area. This area is so cool. There was a couple shops I wanted to actually go and pop into and take a look at. I was just feeling so happy. It was such a lovely sunny day. Not hot though, it was quite cool. Some people were still wearing like hoodies and stuff. I was pretty good in my dress. It's kind of like a fleece line dress, so it was perfect. As you can see, we're heading into the collector's warehouse. I wanted to see what was inside here. I also love looking at the medallions and seeing the different styles that you can find and get. This was one of the spots you could go take a look at them. I was also curious to see what type of Marvel merchandise they had in terms of clothing, you know, ears, accessories. They had a baby group. Did you see that? They had this really cool leather jacket, Marvel t-shirts. They were just really fun things. I didn't get anything, but it's always fun to look and get inspiration. Also popped by and looked at some of the hats and things. It was really cool. Then I headed on out. I walked by the Hyperion and they had signage up for Rogers the Musical. I'm really excited to see that. I hope I get a chance to go back to Disneyland to see it. It wasn't going to be like premiering or playing at all during my, my trip there, but I was very excited about it. Then I headed on into Hollywood Studios. There was one more Marvel themed store that I wanted to check out and see, you know, what if they had like any other different type of merchandise there. And it's all over here. So here you can see it's called a Superstore. And we headed into the entrance. It has this really cool print, like printed, like what's it called? <laughs> I'm blinking on the name, like backdrop kind of thing. And then tons of Marvel stuff. They had comic books, which was really cool to see. When I was little, I used to love reading comic books. I had so many so many i was obsessed so that was really cute to see that this big avengers signage it's light up they have really cool mugs too it was like a huge warehouse almost of stuff they even had the pandora marvel jewelry here which was really cool to see i took a peek i love the spider-man collection i still haven't gotten anything from that but some point i'd love to get some stuff then I popped by the Avengers campus, some photo pass place, took some photos, and then it was about time for an iced matcha latte. I love matcha, as you guys know. I am obsessed, and I find it's a great energizing drink to have when I'm in Disney or like basically any time, but it's one of my favorite things to get at Starbucks. So I got a delicious iced matcha with almond milk. So good, and then I actually put it down for a second because I wanted to get my photo taken at another picture spot with Disney's photo pass. So Took some photos here, they turned out so nice. I admired the gorgeous Disney balloons. They were still Easter themed, which was cute. And then I headed on over to Pixar Pier because there is a Pandora store that I wanted to check out because I was still on the hunt to find the White Rabbit, March Hare, Alice in Wonderland, Easter charm that had come out like the Disney Rabbit's charm. And I was really determined to find it. So I popped by this Pandora store really crossing my fingers that they might have it. So let's head on into the Pandora store together, you guys. I'm so excited to see what other Disney Park exclusive Pandora charms that they might have here. 
If you do want to see the different Disney Park exclusive charms I picked out from this trip, I do have a new YouTube video up sharing a Pandora haul of that. I'll leave a link up above the screen right now on where you can find that video. And also stay tuned because I am planning to completely finish off a fun where to shop Disney Park exclusive charms inside Disneyland. Now back to the vlog, I was like quickly hunting around to find the Disney Park exclusive charms because that is where the Alice in Wonderland charm I was looking for would be. And I got so excited, I looked at the tray through literally this camera lens and I was like, oh, they have two left. And like, I thought they had more under, but he said that was it. They were just those two. And I was just so excited, you guys. It just felt meant to be. This is gonna go on my Alice in Wonderland theme pet bracelet inspired by my dog just representing her coming to visit Disneyland with me. Give them a nice big round of applause. Hey, can I get a hula? Left, 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 right, left. Oh, that's good. I want that. That's what I'm talking about. One, After I left the store, as you can see, there was some Toy Story. And then I decided to go on Disney's The Little Mermaid because it was going to be closing the next day for refurbishment. So I really wanted to get a chance to go on this ride. And, you know, just the movie was just about to come out. So I had to go on it. is honestly so much fun. I love the music on this ride, especially when you head to the scene where, oh my gosh, they sing under the sea. You literally feel like you've entered like a party. Like you're literally part of the movie. In this scene, like I just get so excited. I can't help but like dance around to the music. It is just honestly the best. I felt so uplifted and joyful and fun after going on this ride. The music is just like, it just gets stuck in your head. And what I also love is even when you're leaving this ride, all the characters from the film they were all waving at you goodbye and you just feel like, I don't know, you just feel so happy, honestly. Like, it's just so much fun. I love going on this ride. Then I headed on out and I spotted gourmet coffee, which I was like, Joffrey's coffee is here? I had no idea. So I decided I'd have to come back here in the morning to get a delicious cup of Joffrey's coffee. They have lattes here and I was so excited to see this. If you didn't know, Joffrey's is like Disneyland Resort, Walt Disney World, it's like their go-to coffee there. So pretty much everywhere serves it and it's so delicious. I just love it. Then I headed on over to an Encanto area. I was really hoping to meet some of the characters, but they were all taking a break, but I got some really fun photos. I love these photos. They're very vibrant. Then I headed on over back to the entrance of DCA. <laughs> And then it was time to park hop. So really quick visit here in DCA. I just wanted to check it out briefly. And then I headed back over to Disneyland. If I had to pick a favorite land, it's gonna be Disneyland. I just love Disneyland. So I was very excited to head on over there. And look, the train was arriving when I got there. I headed on into Disneyland, quickly stopped by a shop just to look at this one shirt I kept looking at. It had Tiana and Jasmine on it. Ultimately didn't get it, but I was debating about it at the time. I did get that baseball cap if you spotted it though. It's a Jasmine theme, like Aladdin theme baseball cap. Then I also wanted to get some photos of my own beads Disneyland themed necklace. So I did Stronghold the Castle to represent Disneyland, a bunch of own glass beads, and then I also put it on my own beads fairy pendant necklace and kind of representing Tinkerbell. And I love how it looked. And of course, I had to get some castle photos with Disney Photo Pass. And then it was time for one of my favorite Disneyland treats that I can have. It is the dark chocolate covered banana. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is such a delicious treat. You need to give it some time to kind of like defrost just a little bit. 
and it was just so good. I was feeling pretty tired, so it was so nice to sit down and enjoy this. I strolled down Fantasyland for a little bit and then I'm headed on over to Tomorrowland and also just quick pause, look at those balloons. <laughs> because I was meeting up with a friend who was visiting with her family. So I wanted to catch up with her. So we planned to go meet up at Pizza Planet to enjoy, you know, some delicious food. It's like dinner time basically at this point and just catch up. And it was a lovely time together. I had never gone to Pizza Planet before until I met up with my friend Catherine during Christmas holiday season. And they have so many great food options here. If you do have like allergies or you know, like dietary restrictions, things like that. So I definitely recommend checking them out. And then I had, an, of course, back into Fantasyland, you guys. I love Fantasyland, admire Rapunzel. And then I spotted Figaro. I don't think I ever noticed him before. He's with the bird. So adorable and cute. And then I headed on over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I hadn't had a chance to go yet on this trip, so I was excited to check it out and hopefully find something to wear for May the 4th. I was surprised it wasn't as busy in here as I thought it would be, so it was fun to browse around and see things. Attention all troopers, do not bring local wildlife back on board. <laughs> no wildlife on board. Then I started my hunt to find something to wear for Star Wars Day, May the 4th. It was the next day and I hadn't brought anything in my wardrobe. I've been traveling a lot that was like really Star Wars themed. I have stuff in storage that would have worked perfectly. So I just thought, you know, let me see if I can find something to wear for Star Wars Day, but also something that I can wear, you know, at home and regular life too. So I was on the hunt. Also, how cool is this area? So many cool little like sculptures. I loved it. So I continued to hunt around to find something to wear. And then on my way out, I found a resistance shirt and it was actually a children's resistance shirt. I got the size extra large. They had an adult version, but I actually liked the children's one better. So I ended up getting that. I headed out of Galaxy's Edge and then I wanted to go back to New Orleans Square. I had gone there yesterday and did some Pandora shopping there, but I just wanted to pop back into the Pandora store one more time, just take a quick little look, did not get anything, but had fun. And then it was about time that I headed out of Disneyland. I was like, oh my gosh, I was missing my little sweet dog, Alice. I needed to go pick her up, get her some delicious dinner too, and just spend the rest of the evening, the night with her and have some fun with her. So I'm gonna include some footage here of her. I wanted to like get her some fun treats because I love my Mickey waffles. So I thought it'd be fun to bring her little Mickey Mouse waffle toy and give her some of her treats with it. She's such a sweetheart. She was very happy to see me. It might be harder to spot, but she's wearing her Pandora pet collar as well as her Disneyland spirit jersey. And she's such a cutie. Anyway, you guys, I'm wishing you a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.